Hey everybody, it's Monkey Puzzle, and welcome to episode number three of Tug. And I was just here using my new bronze pick, which is almost dead. I didn't do much with it, I just dug into there a little bit, and I dug into here a little bit, trying to get a little, few more materials for today's episode. So I don't want to lose this pick. Uh, I think we can do two more hits, maybe. <laughs> That's kind of a risk, even. And I was trying to get some more tin, which I don't have much more of, and some coal. Anyway, I think we have enough to do the things that we need to do today. So, we're going to move on into making potions. And some people were calling this alchemy. I think this is actually called the apothecary system in Tug. Folks can correct me if I'm wrong. And I think alchemy is going to be something else. So, yeah. So, anyway, this tin that we got. We can throw it up there with uh, one more piece. I am ignoring those sounds. <laughs> They're not going to bother me. And this is still stoked with some coal. So we can get one more Latin, uh, which is what these are called. Latin, not as, as in the language, but as in sort of an ingot thingy. Um, but I actually started with a full inventory. So I'm going to make a little space so we can continue on with the episode and we're going to work on the apothecary system which applies immediately to what we're doing with the tools and I'll show you how. Okay, feeling a little bit more organized. I think I just need to eat a piece of steak <laughs> or throw it on the ground, one or the other. I think eating it's better. And I just put all our Bronze Age stuff over here by our Bronze Age equipment and they'll be ready when we need it. But today, we want to harvest some of the crops that we planted last episode. If I don't get stuck on my stuff, we need... Uh, come on, we can get this. Where's the pumpkin? There's the pumpkin. I don't want to break our vines. Oops. And... There we go. Got to get it till it says pumpkin and not pumpkin vines. And we need some gourds. These are going to be very cool. Um, besides already being cool looking. Can grab that. Yeah, so... I was preparing ahead to get those. So now what we need to do is I think we throw our pumpkin on here. And can I just press G? I do. And we... Oh, I'm using this stuff. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> is it going to work this time? No, I'm just making lots of wood handles. Yep, and I've got my table <laughs> somehow. Okay, let's put that table down over here, get it out of the way from the other stuff, put our pumpkin down. Can we press G now? Yes, and we get the pumpkin shell. Very cool. Oh, and we got some seeds. Let's do that again. I think we only need one for now, but we might as well make two. So we got the pumpkin shell, excellent. And then the gourds, we're gonna put them down as well. Let's put two of them down. And I think we press G on those and we get uh, what is called, let's see what it's called, a gourd shell. Excellent, let's pick up the seeds and throw down some vines instead. I think it only takes one per, let's see. Yep, we get gourd flasks. So we're on most of the way there. So we're going to need to set up a space to do this in. I'm going to need a few more things. And those things being wood shafts. There's just one. I need three. Okay, so now I got three. And I'm going to need to make another fire. So let's grab that and a couple of these. And some wood. Okay, and why don't we just do it uh, over here between the two patches of mud for now <laughs> and we'll figure this out better later. So if we throw down the pumpkin shell and these three wood shafts and some vines, I'm not sure how many, let's we'll throw four down there and press G, we're going to get something else new. And here it comes. Ba -ding. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> it took two vines. We've got this neato thingy, which is 
Yeah, the pumpkin cauldron. Right now it's not active, uh, but we can make it active by building a fire underneath it. So we definitely know how to do that. We need our flat rock. We need the chop wood, three of those. And we need, nope, our hammer rocks. There's one, there's two, press G. And I don't think we'll need the flat rock for this one. Uh, so it might be in the way. Um, so we take that out of the way, get our cauldron back, and see if we can place it right over the fire. That seemed like it worked great. And now it's active. That's excellent. And we're going to need... W There's all kinds of ingredients you can throw in here for all kinds of potions. I don't know them all, but I'm going to make um, something that we need. Uh, for the first potion, the one that is most applicable. And I think we need the flat rock. Oh, that's not a flat rock. It's a hammer rock. That's the flat rock. And we're going to grind up... I forget if it's a branch or chop wood. Let's try the branch first. Let's see if that's it. And, yeah, there's a... Get our hammer. And I think if we press G now... Nope, that's not working. So it must be the chop wood. Let's try that. Not working either. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I'll be right back. All right, well, it looks like I went a little too far with the with the hammer. All I needed was a hammer rock. So you throw that down, and it was the branches, and now I should be able to do it. You do need the flat rock as the workspace. So there we go. We got wood chips. Let's make some more of those because these are going to be really handy. Let's go ahead, grab those. We're going to leave this here because we can make some other stuff with it in a minute. So now all we need to do to get the potion is throw down a flask and it doesn't have to go into the cauldron. Uh, I guess it would be kind of tricky to get it in there anyway. Let's see if we can throw our wood chips inside of it. Nope. I don't know where they went but they're around somewhere. So let's press G and here it comes. Woohoo! We got our first bubbly frothy potion made of wood chips and Pumpkin cauldron. Oh, looks like our fire is out. I'm gonna stoke that up. Oh, there's the wood chips over there. Let's make one more. And we're gonna be really these this is the durability potion, and we are gonna be durability potion junkies. So let's throw the bronze pick down, grab our potion, and then if we could skip where it says bronze pick, and we click la we have a brand new bronze pick. So I think we can do that indefinitely. And these potions have a durability too. So I can use this a number of more times. It doesn't, not sure exactly how many, maybe four or five it looks like. So that will work on all our tools, I believe. So let's try it on the hammer. Oop, I picked it up. Okay, maybe not. Let's try it again. And get our potion over it. And there we go. I just left clicked instead of right clicked before. So now we have a brand new hammer. So that's going to help us with our tools that don't last any length at all. And uh, yeah, that's just an awesome addition. So here we go. Uh, we have the apothecary system going. And there's other potions you can make as well. They are a speed potion, a health potion, a plant growth potion and fuel potion. The speed potion uses orange mushrooms, I believe. And I saw Slipgator do this and it didn't last very long at all. So it's not very useful, except if you need a really quick uh, burst of speed. The health potion is with seeds and the plant growth potion is with uh, bone, uh, bone powder, I guess, bone meal that you get from grinding up the horn. So we actually have a use for these right now. Let's see if that works. And we'll get it in a second here. Yep, there it is. We got bone powder, excellent. And the uh, last potion, the fuel potion, which fuels yourself, I guess it gives you more energy. That requires a big cat tooth, which we don't have yet. And you would grind it up just like this. So let's make one more um, while we're at it. I guess we need a few more gourds. Uh, let me grab those real quick. And 
I guess at this point, uh, let's make a speed potion and a health potion because we can. And we'll actually maybe a growth potion. I don't know. The growth potion is not really necessary. You can just wait for the things to grow. That's not that big of a deal. So let's throw those down and those down and press G. And we get our shells and then press G again. We get another shell. And now we have two more flasks. It's easy peasy. And we got our nice crop of, of gourds coming in over there again. So we can just make these endlessly. I'm not sure when these run out if you can uh, use the, the flask again. I think you might still get it. I'm not sure. And you know what would be really cool is if you could use the durability potion on, on itself on the other potions. But probably that doesn't work. And even if it did, we wouldn't want to do that right. That's an exploit. So uh, you got put those down. Excellent. So we're going to make... And knocking everything around. We're going to make a speed potion and a health potion. I'm not sure which one's going to work first, but let's check it out. So I'll throw that down. Okay. G. Oh, we need some wood in there. We got some. Got to keep your fire going when you're brewing your stuff. So here we go. Who do we get first? Looked like we got the health potion. And then, let's go ahead and make the next one. There it is, the speed potion. So let's try this one out. So I guess we, do we left click it? Yep. And yeah, we get a little speed. And I think it's already gone. So it's super quick. Okay, so this is me running normally. All right not that fast and then drink that and then I can run like this and it's already gone so it's a really quick burst of speed I but I guess you could keep quaffing it while you're running and when you run out you quaff it some more and one of these may be enough to help you catch a goat or something although it's pretty easy to get them stuck most of the time and we did get the flask back so that's awesome and then let's try the other one, the health potion, except that uh, my health is pretty good right now. Uh, maybe we should hurt ourselves a little bit. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's our introduction to the apothecary system. And now I can repair my tools at will. That's the main thing I wanted to get out of it was that durability potion. Uh, let's see. I've got a little staircase I made over here. So let's get up there and jump off and see if we can hurt ourselves a little bit. Let's see, let's find a good jump. All right, I don't think this is going to hurt us a whole lot, but let's try it anyway. Nope, <laughs> can't seem to hurt myself. Anyway, I'm sure you guys get the point that if I got my health down and I drank that health potion, that my health would be remarkably restored. Too bad I don't have a, a big cat to throw myself at right now. All right, let's get all the way out here. And there's nothing high enough to jump from. <laughs> okay, we're a little bit hurt. We got a boo-boo. So let's fix that. Yep, it works. All right, so we opened up quite a bit of stuff now. We... Definitely got through our stone tools, no problem, first episode, second episode, into the Bronze Age, and third episode, into making potions. So we're moving along. So I'm going to use what we have now and gather a bunch more materials. And once we have those, I'm going to do episode four for you. And then that one, I think we're going to make ourselves a better base. It's time for some better digs. Stop time to stop throwing our stuff in the mud and yeah, get up a little higher with all these torches around. I haven't had any problems with big cats. In fact, in this particular world, I haven't seen a big cat yet. But I found before you got to kind of prowl around at night mostly to see them. Sometimes you see them during the day. I like these little bubbles I'm getting from holding my potions. See if I can see them bubbly. 
they look better from this perspective all right yep <laughs> so with all those bubbles i'm gonna sign out this is monkey puzzle i hope you enjoyed this episode and learn something from it having a lot of fun and yeah now we have some stuff to do some stuff with all right bye bye